Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be setting up our player controller. So to begin, what we're going to do is we are going to be creating a new node. So we'll click on the plus and we are going to be looking for a character body 2D. Now a character body 2D, this node basically allows us to just give it a velocity input and it will automatically move our player throughout the world, okay? And we'll also take into account grounding the player, making sure they won't fall for any obstacles. So this is a great base for if you want to create a player controller. Let's rename it to be player. We need to give our player uh, a sprite. So what I'm gonna do is go into our characters folder here. I'm just gonna go through here, search for a character sprite that we might want to use, something like this. We can drag that into our scene. Uh, we can then select our character sprite make that a child of player. Let's rename it to be sprite just so we know exactly what it is and set the position to be zero on the X and zero on the Y, okay? And we then need to add in a collider. So on our player uh, node right here, I'm gonna right click and go add child node and we are gonna look for a collision shape 2D. We can then go shape, create a new one and we are gonna be creating a capsule. And then just go through ahead and basically fit it to the form of your character like so. So we got our sprite, we got our collision shape. Um, now what we need to do is create a script that is going to basically give our player the ability to move around and jump. So for this, I'm gonna go select our player. Then inside of the inspector at the bottom, we have a script property here. We're going to create a new script and call it player and make sure that it inherits from character body 2d um, if you are so make sure so make sure you do have the player node selected and it should inherit from character body 2d right here click create um, now it does include some default code here but what i'm going to do is select all of it except for the first line and delete it okay so we just want extends character body 2d because that gives us the ability to uh, communicate with our character body node we are going to be creating some variables the first one is going to be our move speed so i'm going to create a variable called move speed it's going to be of type float and it's going to be equal to let's just say 100 so this basically means we are going to be moving at 100 pixels per second then we're going to have our jump force so a variable called jump force of type float, and I'm gonna make this equal to 200. Now jump force is basically the amount of upwards velocity we are going to add to our player when we want to jump. Then we're gonna have another variable called gravity of type float once again, and it's gonna be equal to 500. Basically, this is the amount of downwards force we are going to be applying to our player. So create a function, call it underscore physics process and you should see uh, the autocorrect does pop up right here so we can just hit enter and that's going to create it automatically for us. Now the physics process function is generally where you want to run your physics code that you want to check every frame and basically physics process gets run at a consistent rate per second um, just because when it comes to physics and computing um, it really prefers it if it is running at a consistent rate which is what this function does. So first of all what we're going to be doing is applying gravity. So the way we're going to be doing that is by checking to see if the player is not standing on the floor. Now to do that we can go if not and then is on floor, okay? The is on floor function is built into our character body 2D and that just returns true or false for whether or not our player is standing on the floor. So if we are not standing on the floor, then we want to modify our vertical velocity. And to do that, we can go velocity.y plus equals gravity multiplied by delta. Now the delta is basically um, what converts a per frame action into a per second action, okay? And this is just how we have um, our gravity increase over time at a consistent rate. The next thing we want to do is have the ability to move left and right. Now, before we start detecting our key presses, we first of all want to go velocity.x equals zero, okay? We want to set our velocity to zero. And then if we are pressing the left key, we want to set our velocity to be um, negative move speed. Otherwise, if we are pressing the right key, then we want to set our velocity to be positive move speed. So down here on a new line, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go if input dot is 
key pressed. Okay, so if, if is key pressed, then we want to give it a key. This is gonna be key underscore left, and this correlates to our left arrow key. So if our left arrow key is currently being pressed, then we want to go velocity dot x minus equals move speed. Okay, so here we are setting our x velocity to be zero, and here we are setting our x velocity to basically be negative move speed. Now, if we are pressing our right arrow key, we want to do the opposite. So if input dot is key pressed, this is then gonna be key underscore right, so if our right key has been pressed, oops, we want to go velocity e or velocity or x plus equals move speed, okay? And that should make it so that our player can move left and move right. Now let's save this script, return back into our 2D scene here, and let's test it out to see if the movement works. So I'm gonna press play, we go select current, and it's gonna launch and we can't really see anything. And the reason why is because uh, our camera isn't rendering what we want to render. So to fix this, what I'm gonna do is I am going to, in our scene here, add in a new node of camera 2D. Now this camera 2D, if we zoom out, we can see this purple uh, rectangle right here is the bounds of our camera. Now we want to zoom in a bit. So let's go to the inspector and where we have the zoom, I'm gonna change this from one to three. So there we go, we've got the camera zoomed in a bit more now. We should then be able to press play. We have our environment. And with the left arrow key, I can move left, which is not actually working. And the reason why is because even though in our script here, we are modifying our velocity, we aren't actually applying it to our character body. Now to apply it to our character body, we need to call the function move and slide and it pretty much does exactly what it sounds uh, it moves our player based on the velocity and if we are you know up against a ramp it will slide us across that as well so we can save this press play and as you can see our character falls through the ground now the reason why that happens is because we have set up our tile map here but we haven't actually given it any collision so what we want to do is click on our tile map right here we then want to go over to the inspector, go down to where we have our physics layers and click add element. And this is gonna basically add collision to our tile map. So now when we press play, we should see that our player still falls through. And that is because we haven't applied this tile, uh, this physics layer to our tiles. So down at the bottom, click on tile set to open up the tile set window. We can then click on the paint button right here, select a property, physics layer zero right here. And then we just wanna go through and basically just paint in or select, um, holding down left mouse, all of the uh, sprites that we want to basically have this uh, change applied to. Okay, and you can just select every sprite here if you wish, but I'm just gonna select these ones for now. Um, we can then go back into our main scene here, click play, and we should see that our player lands on the ground and we can move left and right. And if we fall off the edge here, our player will fall off. Okay, so we have the ability to uh, move left and right as well as have gravity affect us. Uh, but how about jumping? Well, for jumping, we're gonna go to our script and just before we call move and slide, we're gonna check if input dot is key pressed, and this is going to be the key underscore space for the space bar, and is on floor, okay? Because we only want to jump if we are standing on the floor then we are going to go velocity.y equals minus jump force. Now we're doing minus here because um, the way it works is if we do positive, it's just going to try and um, throw us down into the ground. So we can save that, press play, and now we can move left to right. And if I press space, you can see I can jump and we can jump on these obstacles here as well. Um, now we probably want the camera to follow the player as well. So for that, we can just go ahead and make the camera a child of player. And we can then move the camera up a tiny bit as well. There we go, press play. And now there we go. So we've got this all set up now. And in the next lesson, we are going to be looking at setting up the ability to have enemies and our game over state for when we fall down below our level. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all then.